Hey there, planetary kin. Welcome to the White Wind Wave Spell. So that's kin 222 in the 260 kin of the Zokin. Let me just get that to show you where that is. The Zokin, and there we have kin oh, 222 begins on a gap day, a green day, which is a galactic activation portal, which yeah which is a day when the dimensional doorways are open but that can sound a little bit um out there if it's not your experience so um that's something to bear in mind on on um saturday the 24th of july which is the very last day of the 13 moon calendar it's um cosmic moon 28 the 28th day of the 13th moon of the 13 moon calendar so in in effect the last day of the year um, and that begins a new a new 13 day cycle white magnetic wind so magnet magnetic is to magnetize to attract and wind is the energy that flows through us thine will spirit channeling um, being a conduit so that's 13 days where we're focusing on what it is to um, to be channels to to allow spirit to communicate through us so whether that be communication writing dancing singing art um, all these different ways that spirit speaks through us thine will um, so yeah that begins on saturday and we we're, we're um i'm now at the on what today today's thursday so it's yellow crystal sun of the red moon cycle so we've come from um, well, before was the warrior cycle on the mission, and now we've been on this red moon cycle for 13 days that it finishes on the 23rd of July, um, which has been all about purifying and cleansing and going with the flow. There's definitely been a lot of cleansing in the area that I've that I live in. Um, there's been a lot of floods and water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink, um, in moments, and then and then it came again. So. So now we're moving from that purification cycle into thine will. Um, so purified, now we're able to receive thine will. So Saturday, 24th of July, white magnetic wind. On Sunday, the 25th of July, the 25th of July is always the day of time. Um, it's the day, it's, it's what the Celts used to call a year and a day, 365 days of the earth around the sun. 365 days, so they had... 13 months of 28 days which we have also in the 13 moon calendar and then what the Celts called a year and a day that 365th day of the earth around the sun that we call the day out of time and so on Sunday 25th of July all over the planet will be people who work with the 13 moon calendar um, celebrating a day out of time and usually that's a that's a um, a day where we don't do money, we do time as art, we completely diss time as money and um, we have a jolly good time and everyone brings their abundance to share and I will be in Waiheke Island at a place called the Waiheke Mystery School, we'll be celebrating the day out of time there so if you're in that vicinity please come, all are welcome. Um, and bring your abundance, whether it be food or your skills or um, music or art or whatever. Yeah, meditations, yoga, this we will share. Okay, so that will be Blue Lunar Night that day, this day out of time, um, which is so on the on the first day of the wind wave spell, we attract um, and receive spirit. The second day is the challenge to bring that down into our bodies through tuning into the collective unconscious dreaming um, of our earth, and it's guided by the ego, so we'll be looking into the dream time, into the collective dreaming of our Mother Earth, which is abundance for all beings, a great day for a day out of time, we will share our abundance, and but going in and, and guided by the eagle to see into what is hidden, to see into the intuition, into the unconscious dreaming. And from there, on the Monday, we will begin July 26, will be the first day of the new year that we always, uh, the 13 moon calendar that we follow, it begins on July 26. So that'll be the first day of the first moon. We call it magnetic moon one of a 28 day month moon. 
um, and that'll be a yellow electric seed. And the and and the last time that on July 26 was a yellow electric seed was in 1969, and that began the summer of love. So let's hope we're coming out of this year of polarity of a number two storm into electric seed to activate seeding it's guided by the star to seed the flowers to seed the harmony to seed the beauty to seed to focus um, to collectively focus to activate spirits uh, thine will for a, um, a more harmonious um, focused connecting electric activation of harmony um, so the summer of love 1969 that was all flower power and all of that beauty um, so you know perhaps we're heading back to that which would be just beautiful and uh, but in the now in an, in a much more evolved um, well, not more evolved, but in the now, it evolved not as in that was unevolved, but that was the most evolved in that time. But now here we are 52 years later, and what will it be this time? So that'll be very interesting. So that'll be Monday, yellow electric seed, the beginning of the new year. Um, Tuesday will be um, red self-existing serpent guided by the dragon so this is where it works on the mental plane electric seed works on the emotional plane so it'd be activating and seeding um, independent emotions that are able to create beauty together to focus on what is beautiful rather than what is not and so then on the on the tuesday we'll be defining the wind defining what it is to channel as the limbic brain the capacity to pick up very quickly serpent to quick up with the mind those thought forms that are coming down to us from spirit and our capacity to respond through communicating or or however we are communicating spirits messages so but they come fast and it's and it's our capacity we'll be learning to respond to those messages very quickly so that's the tuesday the wednesday we work on the spiritual plane it's called white overtone um world bridger guided by the wizard so on that day on the wednesday will be the power of spirit the power of spirit the power of surrender world bridger to surrender to bridge from one world to another to anchor guided by the wizard to anchor a very surrendered meeting many people from many different worlds through simply being very surrendered and um wizard is anchoring down so it's 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 um the power of spirit which is to be open to many different worlds and being an energy anchor of those many different worlds so that's wednesday Thursday is called blue a rhythmic hand and so with all of those energies we are then able to accomplish a lot more and and uh, rhythmic is always about organizing the physical reality for balance and equality so it'll be balance and equality through working with the hands so it's a really good day for doing things for working good work great day for receiving and giving massage for accomplishing practical things it works on the physical plane um, so that's the Thursday, blue rhythmic hand, a very busy day. Um, uh, blue hand always likes to accomplish and will be accomplishing things for bringing balance and equality in the physical body. So it'll be working on the physical plane. So that's Thursday. Friday will be yellow resonant star guided by the sun. So that after accomplishing and healing and da -da 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 -da, all of that um, on Thursday, on Friday will be the inspiration. The number seven is the center of the 13. So it's the seventh day of the wind wave spell. And it'll be inspiring beauty, inspiring um, independent beauty to be inspired by what we create to to create beauty to feel the beauty to be in the nature in the nature in the sun to be inspired by beauty and art and harmony um, so that'll be the friday the following saturday will be a red galactic moon guided by the skywalker by the looks of it yes by the skywalker red galactic moon works on the mental plane it's to integrate the um purified mind the eighth day of a cycle is always um 
the same glyph as was the cycle before. So we came from the red moon wave spell, um, which was the number one before, and then the eighth day of the next cycle is always, that's 20 days later in a 13 and then seven or oh, eight days. Yeah. So anyway, um, you may be able to follow that. You may not. It's, it doesn't matter in this moment. But if you want to follow that up, um, yeah, leave some comments. Okay, so red galactic moon guided by the Skywalker is to expand our minds into the pure consciousness, the pure flow, the pure, purest flow of consciousness coming through from spirit. So to walk the talk of purity, of purified mind beyond the overlay of conditioning of the disharmonic uh, matrix beyond that to expand our minds into pure consciousness where we're receiving very pure messages that then um, get realized on the Sunday as, as pure love. Um, it's the dog guided by the world bridger by sharing unconditional love, by merging with consciousness itself. The dog always merges, white solar dog guided by the world bridger. It merges with spirit. So that is unconditional love. Um, unconditional love guided by the world bridger to connect with many different worlds and to know um, that we are all one that we are uh, that the core of spirit is love and that to open to the different worlds to receive those messages that seek to connect to messages coming through that are realized because they seek to connect rather than disconnect and make wrong. They seek to connect, to recognize shadows, but to, um, uh, to be with those shadows, to uncover those shadows and take them back to the core of love so that we can reconnect and be connected. This is solar dog. This is the revelation and realization of, of, of the messages of spirit. Is uh, They're always about reconnecting, about becoming one and recognizing that we are all love. And hurt people hurt people. And so it's like to go into those shadows and to, and to uh, go to the depths of those shadows. And underneath all of there is hurt people hurt people and is love. So that's the the revelation, the realization of that day. Let me just check what day are we going. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That was next Sunday. And then the following Monday, um, it'll be August sometime, um, it's called Blue Planetary Monkey. And this is the, the, the manifestation of spirits um, what we're receiving, which is monkey, which is very creative and it's got to by storm. So it's like to trust the change that comes with those messages, to be as a child, to play, to play intensely, to play wildly, guided by the storm, the monkey pushing the boundaries, the child um, allowing the, um, an immense amount of joy and play, um, and that'll be that Monday and, and uh, monkey push the boundaries. Just simply trust the chaos and, and be as a child and play. And that will lead to um, the Tuesday, which will be yellow spectral human. And the human is, all, is the, the number 11. The 11th day of a cycle is always the exact opposite. So if we're in the wind cycle, um, that's all about channeling and, and what comes through us and the breath and being a conduit so on the 11th day is the human which is what comes from us our wisdom the ancient wisdom the ancestral wisdom the wisdom of our own experiences so hence you know pushing the boundaries of the monkey always leads to greater wisdom because we learn you know perhaps that wasn't the best way to do that perhaps da 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 da, -da and we learn from that and that that is what creates our wisdom through actually participating and doing and doing it wrong um, the only way we're going to know it's wrong is by is by actually doing it wrong um, and then we'll know and then we gain wisdom and so we have to be forgiving with each other because uh, we're all learning so spectral human that'll be on the Tuesday um, which will be the emotional release the release of, of 10 days of the wind of receiving through coming back to our own wisdom to the wisdom of our own experiences and you know like in a in a um 
as you work with the wind, you know, slowly, slowly the wind and the and the human, that polarity as we move through life becomes one. My will, thine will, my will, thine will, my will, thine will, my will, thine will, my will, thine will. That's the ultimate um, learning, really, of the wind wave spell um, on one level. That's the 11th day anyway. It's the emotional release by coming back to self and one's own will and one's own decisions and one's own choosing, which will be by that time fairly united with thine will. Um, the day after that, so that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, is Red Crystal Skywalker. Um, I think it's guided by the serpent. Yes, it is. So Red Crystal Skywalker works on the mental plane. Crystal is like crystal. It's community, community, cooperation. So the cooperative act of thine will is this expanded mind that, it, that likes to explore the instinctive uh, limbic brain's receiving of of um, exploring the connection of our minds with each other. And what have we all received at this time? What was received? What was how do how, what awakening happened within our own minds uh, through all these messages received through spirit? And so that's a day where it's crystal days are beautiful um, because there's no agenda. It's just about sharing our experiences of that cycle. They're great days for being in community and sharing. And, and Skywalk is very expressive. So it'll be expressing in the moment all these wonderful awakening ideas that have, have been um, learned throughout that cycle. And then we come to the last day of the cycle, which will be Friday uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, 13 days from, oh, from, from 13 days from the 24th of July, so sometime in August, um, but it'll be a, what, what, what did I say, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and it's, um, so the very presence of, of the wind, of what it is to channel, is the wizard guided by the mirror, so the wizard is receptive, it's anchored, it's shamanic, um, cosmic tone, 13th tone works on the spiritual plane. It's very it just the presence of it all. It's when we, we close our eyes and we go back inside and we are the presence of whatever was that purpose. And in this case was the wind to channel. Um, and it's wizard anchoring down into the bare bones guided by the mirror to strip away um, all that's not real to come into the bare bones of the truth and, and have that deep shamanic presence abiding in the isness of a stripped back reality that is pure spirit. And so that, that is the wind wave spell we will be entering. And we'll be entering it on Saturday, the 24th of July. And then on the 26th of July is, is the beginning of the year. So we're going to hold that wind wave spell for the whole year. And this will be the third year of a divine feminine cycle, which is all about learning to receive, which is, you know, COVID's a massive part of that. We're learning to stop, to receive. Um, and this will be the first year in this 13 year cycle where we'll be working on the emotional plane. We've been working on the physical plane for the last year and, and all these polarities and chaos and transforming cells and looking at, jabs and what it does and what it doesn't do and all of those things and transforming in, in um, the physical plane and now we'll go into the emotion which is simply energy in motion so magnetic attracts it's on the spiritual plane lunar which is number two is is the challenge to bring the energy that's attracted down into the physical body that's what we did this last year and now we have this energy inside our bodies now there's energy in motion that's emotion so it'll be a, a electric year a sparking year sparking emotion a sparking independent emotion able to focus on what creates the most beauty and harmony so hallelujah dear um kin all around the planet um may we have a most beautiful year and i guess we'll see won't we so um i have great hope for the year and um, we'll be doing, I'm in Waiheke Island, in, in just in Auckland Harbour in New Zealand on Saturday. This Saturday we're doing a, um, 
a workshop to teach the codes and on the Sunday we're doing a day at a time so anybody around you know feel welcome um, we'll be rocking on so blessed be and may you have a beautiful next 13 days from Saturday Aha.